Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again, and for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show. And as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with part 80. Yes, the series is now an octogenarian. That means at least 80. Well, typically at least 80 years old. That's obviously not the sitch, but um, 80 episodes. And uh, that also means this is coming out uh, early July. So happy July 2024. Everybody, hey, You're like, hey, hey, happy July. Happy July, Mai Tai. Um, yeah, so continuing from last time, we are making progress now on the potential princess sightings side adventure. Um, Side adventures in this game a lot like main quests, very similar. Usually there's like a bunch of different um, like mini chapters that are part of a side adventure. That's kind of the only difference, they're still basically main quests. Um, so, ooh. And that is not setting great. Um, and yeah, we have finished. Basically, we have to go to all the stables and talk to Penn, where there have been sightings. Um, it's at all the stables, though. So last time we did the new Serene Stable thing, which I think also counts or Lakeside Stable down in the Farron region, and Woodland Stable is also done, because that was the first part of the Great Fairy quest. I don't remember if that was a main quest or a side adventure, but yeah. Those three should be done, and we have visited almost every stable. I think there's only two left. We talked about this in the previous episode. There is one in, I guess this is part of Hyrule Ridge, technically. I called it South Tabantha in the previous episode, which I guess that's not technically correct. Um, so yeah, the western edge of Hyrule Ridge before crossing into the Tabantha region. Um, and there's one on the way to the Elden Canyon, I guess, basically on the way to Death Mountain. Death Mountain is too hot for a stable. And I believe all of the stables in this game are in the same locations as in Breath of the Wild. With a few exceptions, like the one before Rito Village is been... It's now the Lucky Clover Gazette. Not a functional stable anymore. So I think it's only those two left. Um, but for now, we are in... Uh, or near outskirt stable because I did initiate this one already. Um, I think when we were first here, and I think we need a horse for this. But yeah, we need to go down to the intersection here. And then follow the stuff, because I think that's all we have to do. 
Uh, but there's gonna be an NPC down there we need to talk to. So, let's go ahead and have them grab one of my horses. Take. I guess we could use Blomp, but I need... Uh... You know, I haven't used Stromboli a whole lot yet. Um... I did use Tabasco and Lasagna and Chalupa a good amount, and they all have jump gentle temperaments. Uh, and we do have three things, so I mean, I could go catch a new horse, but um, yeah, we don't really need to, so. Ah. But yeah, hope you guys are having a good day. Oh, yeah, I already fitted him with the, uh... No, this this looks great. Yeah, we're good. Uh-huh, right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so... Let's go down there. Oh, this is pretty great. Um... If you have this game for yourself... And you haven't done a lot of exploring and like just talking to random NPCs. The, this trio of lovely uh, Gerudo travelers, um, this is one of the best like <laughs> NPC interactions in the game. Uh, it's pretty lengthy though, so I'm not gonna do it right now, but. Um, yeah, def definitely talk to them. It's it's entertaining. It's not like a quest or anything, I'm pretty sure. Hey, you're one of those fashionistas. Yeah. Hey there. He's totally got like squish face going on. How go your travels? Every traveler has to contend with monster attacks now and again. But here, visiting the Great Fairy might uh, really help with that. Yeah. The uh, word is the uh, great fairy can use her power. Oh, you're good horsey. Uh, use her power to make clothes as tough as a set of armor. We'll say there's a great fairy up in the uh, near Aww. by. The road the great fairy crumbled into upheaval, so my horse can't make it up there. That's okay. Having a horse is a blessing without uh, needing the great fairy's clothes blessing on top. All right, I'm gonna go. Please. Please stop falling. <laughs> Alright. Well, okay. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we just gotta go down here. Uh... But yeah, this one is... I don't know if I showed this already. Uh, called The Beckoning Woman. So this is the Gazette quest for Outskirts Table. Um, a woman approached a blonde-haired man near a three-way intersection by Outskirts Table and implored him to help her friend. The man couldn't follow the woman's lead, though, and then lost track of her. Could this friend, supposedly in danger and possible of noble birth, be... Ellipsis? Oh no, my poor friend, please, you must save her. Are you okay? Blonde hair. Uh. I do not know who you are, but I ask that you please help me. My poor regal friend's life is in danger. I cannot reveal who she is, for that would only make things worse. She's hiding and unable to move. My friend is in such danger. Please, I cannot help her all by myself. Let's fucking go! Well, thank you so much. <laughs> friend's hiding, you know. That's the only way for her to remain undetected by those with ill intent. Ah. You should go where my friend is, but be careful not to be seen. We do not want to draw evil to her. Uh -huh. I'll wait for you down this road. Meet me as soon as you can. Thank you. 
E okay. Um, yeah, I don't think we actually have to be stealthy. Pretty sure. Like, I mean, there are monsters on the way. I could just easily take them out. That's not a problem. Stromboli in danger, so I'm just gonna leave him behind here a little bit. Just Probably just sneak this guy. Well, and I don't want to use this as a weapon. Wake. Yeah, I'll we'll just do this. Good. That's good, Stromboli. Yeah, very worthy. have a dedicated hammer. Alright. Well, we could, you know, may as well have another one. Uh, okay, that's her over there. Apologies for leaving you behind. I was overtaken by my concern for my friend. She was resting safely out of sight. It's the only way to stay safe. I'm sorry that the path's so poor. 
Oh, up there? Could you possibly go to the top of that cliff? You can meet right where you can see the fallen debris. The... Oh, that rock thing that you focused on? But how are you going to get up there? I mean, I know how I'm going to get up there, but... Uh, I mean, there's a couple of different ways. And this horse butt is not one of them. Um... Trying to get a better idea. Hmm. Okay, maybe I can use recall on this. I got plenty of stamina. Stamina food. Nah. It suddenly got really bright. Is that just the moon? Hmm. <laughs> Must be him then. Oh, I'm so rude. You have my apologies. Come now, my friend is waiting ahead. Waiting nearby, run the debris on the opposite cliff. I'll go on ahead and let her know that you are coming. <laughs> it's a bit far off, but I know you'll be able to make it. Yeah, why why did you have me climb up here then? Kinda strange. I mean, I think I could make this even if I didn't have two lens power, but... Yeah. Ooh, fire fruit. I'll take that. I'm sorry for all that. It was important for me to test you. Blonde hair, courage to overcome a challenge, and then another challenge, and then another. Oh, and you're disgusting. Unwavering commitment to do good. You are Princess Zelda's chosen bodyguard, the Swordsman Link, correct? <laughs> hmm? So glad I get to finally meet you. Now I can take you to that last stop in our little journey. <laughs> Your grave. <laughs> Oh wow, no surprise. Oh, you landed a hit. Wait, why? It didn't show... 
showed my weapon without the thing I fused to it. Uh, I'll let you off this time. But don't expect such mercy next time. Prepare yourself. Mm. Uh. Hi. Hi. Hi, partner. Well? Oh, this is where your investigation took you. Looks like you really got yourself out of, on a limb there. I've been scouting from the skies, trying to get to the bottom of this story. I heard that woman was luring people away. Thought I heard your voice, so I swooped on down. And hey, here you are. So tell me, what have you unearthed? <laughs> ah, I see. Who could have guessed that this whole story would be an elaborate trap set by the Yiga clan? If you don't know, they're a group of assassins trying to bring down the Kingdom of Hyrule. I mean, you specifically, but you know, the Kingdom of Hyrule. I heard they were looking at. Uh, hey, 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 yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> I heard they were good at disguising themselves, but playing the part of a villager? I never would have guessed. I mean, I kind of figured they might be like a Pikachu main or like maybe Cloud, but... Villager? <laughs> I heard Peach is actually pretty top tier as well. Anyway, in all to flesh out the source... <laughs> I'm sorry you're not, you know, higher on that list. In all to flesh out the swordsman who protects the princess. Ah! I thought you, a young and up, a young up and coming reporter who just happens to have blonde hair. They believe you are actually that swordsman. That's just bad luck for you. He still doesn't know. <laughs> he still doesn't get that. Link is the Link, like the hero. He just thinks I'm some random guy that like happens to have the same name. It's very funny. And the, still, the fused material is not showing. It's weird. You've definitely got some skills, though, if you can escape from the Yiga clan. I'm proud of you, partner. I'm glad I don't have to write a headline like Junior Reporter Falls to the Cruel Blade of the Yiga in Pursuit of Truth. Mm. Oh, we worked together to chase three of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Mm. I didn't think making progress would go so smoothly, you know. I guess it helps to have a dedicated partner. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh, oh whoops, I almost forgot. Tracy's been really impressed with you. Asked me to give you a bonus. So here you go. Anyway, it's time I took off and turned these unusual details into an article. You take care, pal. Ah! So long. And it's back. <laughs> the spike ball. I don't think that's how it looked before, but... Alright. Don't want that. Don't want that. Man, they didn't drop rupees or bananas this time. I like bananas when I'm making the bone. Alright. Oh, well, there's that over there. I'm not gonna go grab it. But... Um... Alright, let's go ahead and hit up the other... There it is. Does this one have... I don't need any of that crap. Uh, yeah, that'll help. That'll be good. Hmm, making progress. We could probably finish the next one, too. And it's cold up here. It's cold up here every day. What is this, Miami Beach? Uh, hardly. Okay, so pull a 180 and dive. Okay, not quite. There we go. 
Hello, grab the deer. I fought this one. Yeah, I fought this one already. Uh, it's over here and. So now we got a fast travel point. Oh, and we're not cold anymore. Good stuff. Gives treasure. Hi. <laughs> I like your big floppy hat. Oh, damn! Hi. What's up? Hello there. I hope your travelers are, travels are treating you well. So I take it if you strike up a conversation with a fashion-forward type like me, all the way out here. <laughs> what is that? All the way down here? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> You must also be searching for pieces of Misko's treasure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't know. There was once a legendary bandit by the name of Misko, but thievery isn't what made them a legend. It was their unparalleled fashion sense. It said that Misko collected rare outfits from all over the world and hid their pieces throughout Hyrule. <laughs> may only be a story, but who could resist the call of garments like that? Fashion lovers like me, Misko's treasure is the ultimate score. That's why we're out in force trying to find it. Oh. So, fate and fashion must have brought the two of us together right here. Shall I tell you where pieces of Misko's treasure is said to be hidden? Yes! <laughs> I thought that might strike a fashionable fancy. Now, do you have a map? Oh, tell you what else strikes my fashionable fancy. Uh... Here's what I've heard. Piece from a quite stylish outfit from Misko's collection said to let you quickly climb cliffs might be here. Piece from a very snappy outfit from Misko's collection said to keep you safe in lightning is around here. <laughs> I think there's a third that was part of that, but I probably have it already. Um, very nice. All this information comes from my other fashion forward friends who travel in other regions. I'm not sure if any of these looks will fit with my personal sense of style, but you never know. If you're attempting a difficult journey, I'm sure such styles could come in handy. Ah. By the way, could it be that the reason you're traveling is to look for the great fairies? Oh. I already did that. Around here, the closest one would be the great fairy Mija. Me, me, Mija. Uh, she should be near Snowfield Stable in Hebra, if I recall that correctly. <laughs> if you are near there, you should stop by and ask for your clothing to get blessed. Ah. Oh, sorry. I've gone on and on. 
It's been a while since I've been able to talk fashion with anyone. Time for me to get back for search to searching for these guys' legendary outfits. Good luck. Goodbye. What? What am I looking at here? Oh. Did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We already did that. Yeah. All the horses. Oh, yay. That was cute. You're cute. You kind of look like my Stromboli. Um, okay, there's a story here. What they run away when they hear you say. Oh. How are we doing? I got ten, okay. Could, uh, yeah. I could do this now. Um, I think I have a bunch, right? I mean, it wouldn't be the fastest method. Okay, it's a cart. Two fans, a wing, okay. I think I have plenty of that. Right, yeah. Steering stick. I think that's all it is, right? Pretty well balanced. Oh, 
aerodynamics. It's only two fans, not three, so... I can have, like... Really? The wing is already toast? Freaking wings, man. break off. But... Could just repurpose this. and trace of a recipe remains. Just the remnants of a half-eaten Hylian pine cones. Oh. Hey, Pana! You're looking good! Like, really good. What the hell? <laughs> Were you also pulled to this place by an inescapable tug of a story? You know what else is an inescapable tug? Well, I mean, you know, I got these huge hands, like... <laughs> I'm chasing some, and from what I hear, <laughs> I'm chasing, anyway, I'm chasing some new traps and wobbles for my beloved little birds. A group of goats is a herd, or a trip, or a tribe. Is that real? A trip of goats? I think I've heard tribe before, but... Anyway, the stable has been raising a small herd of white goats. Or it was until all those white goats up had vanished all of a sudden. Mm. It's not where it stops, though. Some have said that Princess Zelda may also be involved. Anyway, why don't you talk with Chork? Actual name. No shit. <laughs> the guy who's taking care of the white goats. I'll look for more clues. Oh. Partner, time for you to get to work. There's a big scoop here. I can feel it. Yeah, some goats. <sighs> Big scoop of goat milk ice cream, I guess. Which actually, I've never tried goat milk ice cream before, but I imagine it might be pretty fucking good. Um. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna keep wearing this for now. Hey, buddy. I've seen some white goats around here. I've given those goats all the love and care in the world, but the other day they ran off together. Uh. They didn't even finish all their food before they left. The Hylian pine cones weren't eaten. All of Princess Zelda's recipe 
perfectly, but it could have been the feed that drove him off. Um, you're just feeding him pine cones, dude? I mean, they're goats, but I doubt they're into that. Yeah, Princess Zelda shared a recipe when she visited the stable a while back. It's really amazing how much she knows about animals. Never would have expected her to be developing healthy feed recipes. In this case, it's a recipe for a special kind of feed for white goats. The main ingredient is fresh Hylian pine cones. <laughs> it's actually pretty unusual. It requires you to mix the pine cones in whole. You don't grind them down or anything. Mix them with what? It sounds like you're just giving them pine cones. I didn't want my wonderful white goats to eat the recipe the princess gave me, so I put it in a glass bottle. But a big storm came through one day and blew the bottle off somewhere. Even though bottles would be pretty aerodynamic and not really affected by wind all that much, I wasn't able to find it after that, so I've been making the recipe from memory since then. What would make my white goat spit up the high lane pine cones and run off like that? Did they... Did they really hate Princess Zelda's recipe that much? Alright. Anyway, there's a trail of pine cones and you just follow them. That's all you do. It's, uh... It's not that interesting, to be honest. So they went off that way. Actually, you know, this doesn't really fit. Like, I don't want to be flying around, per se. I didn't realize the train would be this uneven. So I should have just done the hover bike. Oh, really? Suddenly, every monster in Hyrule wants a piece? Like, what the hell? Yeah, I'll just use this until it breaks. I've already started using it.
Wait, I think they're... I think they're around here, though. Oh, there we go. Oh, those are my white goats. This is where they ran off to. Hey there. I'm just so glad to see you. You're all right. And you're the one who found them? Oh, thank you. I won't forget this. This bottle. This is what I was using to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. Let me see it. I need to check the recipe. Mm, yes, yes. Wait. Oh, no. Grind the pine cones into a powder. I'm not supposed to use the Hylian pine cone hole? Should have known something was off. Did look really hard to eat. I mean... Goats eat some pretty hard to eat stuff, honestly. And these are some really cute goats. My poor sweet goats. Must have run off because the awful food I was making them eat. So sorry. I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. My fault all along. I would have run away too. So many <laughs> like all the goats in unison. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe I doubted the recipe the Princess Zelda shared with me. Should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take the best care possible of goats. Eh, it's just not about what kind of food you feed them, right? It's important to show that you care with all your heart. By feeding them the correct shit. I swear that from now on I will take care of all of you with the same kindness and compassion that Princess Zelda displays. Best way for me to show my gratitude for her sharing the recipe with me. <laughs> oh, and I really, really can't thank you enough for finding my white goats and the recipe. Now we're going to head back to the stable. You take care. Hi. Hey, partner. Kind of a lame story, yeah. eh? I mean, guy lost his goats and a recipe. I saw everything, partner. Oh. Perfect investigation with a happy ending. I expect nothing less of you. Speaking of happy ending... <laughs> anyway, hmm. You think it's a coincidence that the missing white goats and the lost recipe were in the same place? No. I have another theory. Huh. Maybe the white goats set out to find the bottle themselves because they couldn't stand to eat the wrong recipe anymore. I don't think that's the case, but it does make you wonder, doesn't it? Hmm. Work together to chase four of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. And just one other thing. Tracy sent along a bonus for all her hard work. Ooh, yeah. A good sleeve. Any small dimples on the fingers on his suction cups, giving good grip on wet, slippery surfaces. Why is it called a sleeve? Is a tight-fitting shirt called a sleeve? Like, I don't think I've ever heard that before. Ah. It's pretty rare gear yeah, that'll make it easier to keep your grip on walls, even on rainy days. It doesn't quite work, though. It's not a pair of wings, but I'm sure it'll help you reach new heights, partner. I'm right. Gonna hurry back to HQ and bring word of this story's conclusion to our readers. See you later, partner. Look forward to chasing another big scoop with you. Sapo! So long. All right. Yeah, that one uh, is not my favorite. It's a little disappointing. Kind of fast travel back. I just remembered I didn't talk to the um the stable attendant. And I used up all my extra stamina too, so may as well get a Melania bed. 
since we are at the end of the episode anyway. Welcome to Debantha Bridge Stable. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point. We'll add one point to your pony points. Now then, once again, welcome to our stable. Do you want to lodge with us? Yeah, because then I'll get another pony point. And extra hearts and stamina, so yeah. I don't care, morning. I'm Melania, I got of horses. A golden horse is born. You may find it in the northwest. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's a weird thing. It's a, like a very side quest kind of thing. There is a golden horse in the game. <gasps> the blood moon shines upon the land. Bleh. It's much less annoying on the oh. Japanese voice acting for Zelda, but two points to go. Oh. As cold snap is over. <laughs> All right, and the other one is over here. We'll go there on the next episode. We're out of time for today. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for being here. And of course, before we get going. Literally, really? Elixirs? All right. Um. Oh, the thing about the Don Dons. Yeah, gotcha. Let's just go back to the house. Uh, mm, hmm? I died at the shrine. When did that happen? Oh, Proving Grounds Vehicles. Yeah, 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 I did die in there a couple times. True that. True that. Because, yeah, we're, we're done here for now. Um, and I think we only have a few more to go, I want to say. Don't remember how many parts the princess sighting thing has. But yeah, we, we we got a we got a few more. Um, I kind of just want to like knock them out, you know. So we can uh yeah just you know finish it up, know that it's finished, and I. Th I think we're good on food, yeah, we're good on, yeah, we're good on weapons and shields and bows, and yeah, I guess we don't need anything here. Alright. Fair enough. Well, that is going to do it for today, so. 
Thanks for game being here, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. And of course, before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, which at the time of recording is Novellus Draconis, Don Sabino, WTF Corey, who has an amazing channel here on YouTube, by the way. And Aaron Chick, thank you all so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly via channel membership. It vastly helps out. It's very much appreciated. Uh, and if you guys want to be incredibly awesome like these amazing people and get in on all those membership benefits, uh, check out that join button down below. Um, there's also a link in the description that talks about becoming a channel member. In case you happen to be watching on a platform that doesn't have a join button next to the subscribe button for whatever reason. Um, yeah, tiers start at $3 a month. It's only $0.10 cents a day. Gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on the channel via the member's choice polls. It's a thing we do once a month for a full seven days, so 25% of the time we do have one going. And um, we will have one coming up in the month of July at some point. Um, not really sure when, but it's going to be selecting the series that's going to be replacing Resident Evil HD, so... Um, yeah, if you want to get in on that, that's how you do it. And, um, there was something else about that. Mm, maybe not. Okay. Um, this is an approximation, however, of future announcements from the past. So if you guys want all the announcements as they happen and the bell doesn't work out for you, it's totally fine. Bell doesn't work for really anybody that I've talked to. Um, but there's three other ways you guys can do that. So the community tab here on the channel, the Farts and Crap Show Twitter, or the Discord. I always post on all three of those whenever there's an announcement. So regardless of which method works for you, uh, you can stay in the loop. And uh, links for those are down in the description as well, also on the channel banner. But that is going to do it for today. So thank you all for being here once again, guys. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.